Hello. Salvate! It just occurred to me that all of this time, while we were dealing with Imperial Rome, I've never said hello to you in Latin, as the Romans would. So, salve! Hello. So, so. shall we uh, get to tonight's background about Aurelian's next big adventure? Absolutely. Do tell. Now, over the past three battles that Aurelian had successfully defended the Empire from the Gulfs and the Balkans, so the flagging morale of Roman forces had been restored, so now he could muster his armies and turn his attention where the Palmyrene Empire had risen and taken control of Roman territories, all the way up through Syria and down through Egypt, which was the breadbasket of the empire. So Aurelian secures a beachhead and marches into Asia Minor. But he sends a second naval force to land in Egypt under the command of Marcus Aurelius Probus, who will, shockingly, become emperor one day. This logistical planning and execution marks Aurelian as one of the great military thinkers of the 3rd century, because, in a sense, he's put together a massive pincer movement to catch the Palmarines between two forces. Um, his naval force lands in Egypt, and by June, they take Alexandria back, and then Probus begins operations to retake the rest of Egypt. Meanwhile, after crossing into Asia Minor, the advancing Roman column under Aurelius is welcomed by the inhabitants, who had been successfully resisting Queen Zenobia's domination. With the loose Palmyrenian hegemony sort of evaporating right before his eyes, Aurelian thought this was going to be a bit of a cakewalk. He made his way towards the Cilician Gates, the pass through the Taurus Mountains that would connect the Anatolian Plain to Syria and beyond. But before he could reach the pass, his route took him to the town of Tyana in Cappadocia. That town refused to open their gates, and Aurelian couldn't afford to leave a hostile garrison along his supply lines. So, angered, he ordered his, the city besieged, pledging that he would not even leave a dog alive once the city had fallen. Of course, his soldiers, desirous of plunder, pursued the siege with all of the more determination, um, and over the course of several weeks, fear began to spread amongst the populace. Tyana eventually capitulated when one of the frightened residents betrayed the city to the emperor by showing him a weakness in the walls. And now the capital of Cappadocia was back in Roman hands. However, Aurelian thought better of his previous intention to massacre the inhabitants. He realized with maybe a little bit of rare insight that sparing the city could set a precedent that would be far more potent in the coming conflict. So he ordered his army not to harm the citizens and presented himself to the populace as a liberator rather than a conqueror. As you can imagine, his troops were not happy. And if the past few centuries of Roman history have taught us anything, it's that Roman generals and their troops have a pretty delicate relationship. And it's not uncommon for Roman troops to eliminate their generals when they're not happy. But Aurelian manages to talk his way out of it and talk his troops down. He admitted he had indeed ordered that no dog in Tyana be allowed to live, so accordingly, he ordered his soldiers to kill all the dogs in the city. This dispelled the anger of the troops. Everyone had a good laugh, and Aurelian went on to explain, like, you know, we wage war to free these cities. If we pillage them, they will never trust us. So that sets a precedent that will come up later on. Aurelian's forces marched through Issus, where Alexander the Great, as you recall, won his famous victory over the Persians. And from here, the Roman emperor marched to the port of Alexandretta. Really? Yes. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So now he's got control of Asia Minor, but now Syria lies before him. Meanwhile, back in Egypt, those Roman forces begin to move north, pressuring Palmyra from the south. Having lost Alexandria, Queen Zenobia only has one remaining mint under her control in Antioch. 
So knowing that this would be Aurelian's first objective in Syria, this is where she stationed her generals and sent her son, Zabatis. So the Romans began crossing over the mountains from Alexandretta. They received reports that the Palmyrenians lay now between him and Antioch. Zabdes had drawn up his army on the western shore of the Lake of Antioch to the north of the city. That way he could intercept the Roman advance along a very narrow point where the flat terrain would be suited to his heavy cavalry. But Aurelian wasn't going to fight on his terms. So instead, when he got through the mountains, he turned north and made his way around the eastern shore of the lake. The Palmarines got wind of this, however, and they sent a contingent of their heavy cavalry to bolster their rear guard because they didn't want Aurelian to catch them from behind. So this is where our battle takes place. Essentially, it's a, ca- a clash of two cavalry forces. The Palmarines heavy cavalry versus the light Moorish cavalry of the Romans. When they finally do clash at M.A., basically, um, Aurelian does what you like to do with cavalry. Um, Run away! All hit- <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So they would hit and fade drawing the heavy cavalry after them. And they did this for miles. Understand, these guys are in heavy armor and their horses are in heavy barding. So under the the withering sun of Syria, they started to get overheated and giving pursuit to these fleeing forces who would, you know, stop, turn, fight, and then flee again. They were starting to get exhausted. Once Aurelian realized just how exhausted those forces were, he turned and made his stand along with some of his um, foot troops who had caught up with his advancing cavalry. Taken by surprise, this heavy armor, this Klibinari, could not muster the, the will to fight. I mean, they were just exhausted and they were slaughtered. When word of this got back to the Palmarines, they fled and abandoned Antioch. And again, when Aurelian got to the city, the Antiochians, fearing that Aurelian was going to slaughter them all, threw their gates open to him and were pleasantly surprised when he granted them amnesty and welcomed them, um, welcomed them back into the Roman fold. And that strategy will go on to help Aurelian as he continues to press his campaign against the Palmarines, I don't think we're going to have any more fights in that series. So I think it's the only time we're going to see this; these two forces clash in the game. Indeed, yes. So. This is uh, this is the end of all of that, because the next, the last two scenarios will take a significant jump ahead in time. So this is the last we'll see of Aurelian. But uh, yeah, the, he he truly is that the warrior king of you know. But the, he's a thinker, so his grand strategic plan here to draw them out and uh, and have them hurt themselves in pursuit. That's pretty darn cool. Let's see if that bears out tonight. Uh, let me open the war. Well, I think what this is is I think this is where they turn, fight, and make their stand. I think that's what we're doing here. Right. Well, I've got the War Council open, so we will have a six-banner battle here tonight at the Battle of M.A. I will start with the Palmarines first. I will have Zenobia. She's uh, she's off somewhere in camp uh, leading this force, but uh, her son Zabatis is on the field with the cavalry. I will have five command cards, and I'll get to move first, and then... Peter will have Emperor Aurelian and his uh, additional centurion assistants, and he will get six command cards because this is his. This is his battle, his plan. The only special rules tonight: we, have, of course, the purple blocks indicate we have the Imperial Legions rule for the Romans. That means they can move one and chuck some spears. Uh, and we see here once again. It's been a while. We have the Caltrops rule for the Roman light slingers because any units, the light units that can evade, uh, they have pockets full of these spiky balls that they're going to throw out there and try to catch the Palmarine cavalry unaware. And just to remind you how it works, they will announce their decision to evade, of course, and 
when the attacker, the cavalry, attacks, any sword hits will count as negative. They will, they will get, they'll be stepping on those spike balls and they will lose a block for each sword that is rolled. Otherwise, a green circle will still do uh, an, a hit on the evading unit. And then the evading unit will move away as they would normally do if there's a leader. So the sword, right, because the swords wouldn't count if they were evading. Exactly. Uh, so sword hits are bad for the attacker on that, and if there's a leader attack, such as Z Zabatis, uh, we would still do a leader casualty check as per usual. So an interesting little wrinkle here to see if we can uh, mitigate some of that cavalry attacking. Uh, Battle Cat has arrived. She is ready to fight. So let me draw up my cards here. Uh, Five cards, yes, yes, five cards. Two, three, four, and five. There we go. I have my five. And I have my six. So as you are going first, let me be the first to wish you good luck. And we both wish you good luck as well. All right, so what can I possibly do here? Hmm... Got our smattering of marshes in the center, of course. Let's do do move, fire, and move. And I will activate one, two, three, four, and five. Do those five. So these units will go there, there. Two, one, two. All right, let's do some range. First, we'll have this light cavalry throw at yours. They did not move. Do you want to? Do you want to move them? Because that would give a clear line of sight to the bowmen behind them. Well, yes, but then I would lose the two dice for that. So, ah. yes, there's a method to my pseudo madness here. Well, two. Two dice at once, or one die after another. It's your call. Sure, I'll do this. Uh, so, light cav throwing two dice at your light cav. And you get a hit. Alright, uh, then over here. Throw one at that. One die. You get a retreat, which you may take if you wish. I'll ignore it. Okay, and then the other one will throw a die. And get nothing. All right. So the second part of the move, fire, move. Let's do. Uh... Okay. Hmm. All right. We're three units on the right. Aurelian and his auxilia. They'll move one. He'll order his auxilia to throw spears. So one die. And one die. Nothing. Hmm. You're awfully quiet while throwing these dice. Ugh, I was on mute. Sorry. Uh, but you could tell from my silence that there was probably some exasperated yelling at the dice there. Uh, and then the last one here, two dice at this guy. I get one hit. All of that. So 20% hit ratio. Okay, the auxilia will attack the auxilia. 
two dice? Three dice. Three dice, that's right. Sorry, I'm getting ready for you to run up those hills. <laughs> hey, look at that. Shit. One of everything. All right, we'll give you three back. Ooh, two hits in a retreat. Ooh, retreats. That's not part of my plan. Neither is taking a hit before I even roll. <laughs> the auguries. <laughs> What will your light bowmen like to oh, do? Oh, they will stand there. Really? Yes. Okay. Wow. That was painful. But we'll give you two back. And hit and retreat. Look at that. Retreat. Do a counter attack. All right, those two, uh, we will start with these against there. Two dice. Nothing. And then two dice. Nothing. Wow. We got nothing, man. Nothing. All right, back to you. All right. I will darken the sky. That's all range units may fire twice. Feeling pretty One. proud of yourself, aren't you? Two. You tricked me into going that way. What's the range on slingers again? Three. Two three. 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 Okay. That looks like all of those units are eligible for O. Or at least have targets. So we'll start here with these slingers. Targeting those bowmen. I'll let fly with two stones across the marsh. Get a retreat. Just like cavalry wolf. Throw against the heavy cataphracts. Little red square that time. So two more dice. <laughs> That's funny. No, it's not sad. Crying on the inside. All right. Lanters at us. No. Two dice. There's a hit. How about a leader check? Leader check comes up empty. And I'll roll two more dice for another volley. Oh. Or another hit. And another leader check comes up empty. Start here. Slingers. Two dice. A retreat. They will shift their focus. Throw stones over that light cavalry. Two dice. Get a hit. Auxilia didn't move. That means they throw two dice. That's right. So two dice and your light bowman. Nothing. Two more dice. Ah, a retreat. Hurrah! Here we go. Two dice against that auxilia. And two more. There's a hit. Well, all in all, not too bad. Went, did some whittling. All right. Do a coordinated attack? Hmm. Hmm. Ice of action. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Let's start over here against the mediums. What would they like to do? Bade is the order of the day. Okay. So this will be four dice and hitting on triangles only. One hit. Go to the center here. We'll attack this one. Also four di four dice, triangles only. Two hits. And finally, over here, three dice against your auxilia. Scoring a kill. Coordinate and attack myself. Ordering those units. Centurion wishes to advance his career. Indeed. Okay. Mm, we will start with Mounted Centurion against the Battus. Three dice. Didn't need the Centurion. And the Battus. Oops, should have been one. Appropriately, he escapes. I will advance. I will not move plus one. But I will attack again. We will evade that. Okay. Three dice. Oops. Well evaded. Aurelian right, will attack that auxilia. Five dice. Punished. All right, let's do four in the center. Hmm. Fresh holes. Fresh horses. All right. First, we will... Throw a couple spears at these light cav. Getting a hit. And then Zabatis will attack. We'll evade. Okay. So four dice, looking for triangles. Getting a triangle. Possible leader kill. No. Finally, these guys will throw at that medium cav. One die. Nothing. Mounted char. Well, you just knew that was coming. You knew it. Those units there. All right, let's start here. Medium cavalry going after the heavy cataphracts. Four dice. Ignoring one sword. <laughs> oh, the coward of the I county, got a man. Roll. Oh, I got a Patrick roll. Ouch. 
Send all your cards and letters to man. Consolation. Oh, man. We will... All right, going after that light cavalry. Yeah, evade that. More dice. Very nice. <sighs> Guy's on fire. Going after Zabatis. Four dice. And now the leader support. Mmm. 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 Mm, mm. Let's go four dice back with, 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 with that. With leader support. Two. Follow up. Try it again. Four dice against the bodice. There we go. Leader check. He's fine. I'll advance. Move one. And attack that light cavalry. Four dice. Well, that's terrible. Sorry. No, no, I was uh, I was kind of hoping to get better use of this. Ash of shields. All right. So we got just two that can participate, it would seem. But we'll see what happens here. All right. So first we'll come over here. What would they wish to do? They'll evade this clash. Of course. So, four dice on them. Looking for a couple of green circles. No. And then, over here. What would they like to do? Evade those angry bowmen as well. Four dice. Looking for triangles. No. Oof. Yeah, what? <laughs> the dice are not being kind the last few weeks. Well, that was a big old whiff. All right. Where are my medium troops? Try. First attack there. Three dice against that light calf. Put him away. There you go. Wow. That's uh, that's what we call a woodshedding. Good job. I just never got any any of my feet under me. I thought, oh, look, we're doing a little pillow fight over here. Slap and tickle. He -he. And, and, and then... And, and that was going to continue because I have right cards sent... Light troops. I only just got these medium troop cards and the mounted charge late in the game. So I thought, oh, God, I, God I'm stuck on my right flank. I'm just going to have to crawl my way towards those hills and just get shot to pieces. So, yeah, the middle there, I thought I could get to hold just, you know, it's always that one more, just one more day. That's all I need. Just just a little bit longer. If I could get that center to hold, but then you got that mounted charge and just took it apart completely uh the most dangerous thing in the world is is a p to p with a mounted charge so uh final score on that one six one i i'm gonna walk this one off it, it is an ouchie so we'll be right back with round two welcome back well well thank you I needed that consolation. Uh, I was crying inside, as you were saying, crying on the inside. But this time's going to be better. The dice are always going to be better in this game. I can't. Soy un perdedor. I'm a loser, baby. Ooh. 
So why don't you kill me? Hey, you know what I got? M mounted charge. Awesome. Yeah. Look forward. I cannot wait. <laughs> Commence the shedding. All right, do your worst. My worst, you say? Very well. My worst is two units in the center. See, that's the difference between you and me. I'm timid, and you're going to just go right for it. You're going to right on in, baby. Yep. All right. Four dice on the medium cavalry. What would they like to do? I'm totally going to stand. Totally. Okay. Totally. Yep. It's, Four dice. I'm, I'm not going to get anywhere by running away. Okay, there's two. And I'm going to three back with a hit and a retreat. Here's the Let's lead. Retreat. Here's the leader check. And thank you, John Skiba, for pointing out that while you and I, Peter, you oh, and I. Oh, wait, was it a hit? It was a sword. Oh, that's right. Damn it. All right. Nothing. Yes. Boo. But anyway, you were thanking John? Yes, John Skibo was just saying that uh, you and I have a tendency to go, ooh, close, when we get one symbol. But, of course, the reminder is that's that's 16% on one die, and, you know, it's 1 in 36 that you get two leaders. So it's actually quite low probability-wise that we're actually, but you and I see the one leader symbol, we're like, ooh, half, right? But it's not. Anyway, statistics. Statistics. Statistics, yes. All right. Going after that medium calf. We'll just like normal heavy cataphract. Stand. Four dice. Standing. Stand. Well stood. All right. Now you're vulnerable on the wing, so three dice back. Come on, flags. Eh, one hit. No, no hits. Damn it. No hits. <sighs> Uh, oh, but not a retreat. Not a retreat. Boy, we were... <laughs> not a we, retreat. We have thrown off the script completely by uh, <laughs> by me standing. All right. Not a sausage. Not a sausage, right. Bugger all. Okay. I'm done. Time for the mounted charge. It is time for the mounted charge. I'm, I'm not... Well, just not... I'm not even... I'm not even going to waste time. Uh, he's going to go there and there. And one, two, and... Remember, you can only activate six. Yes. One, two. Um, he's going to go one, three. He's going to go one, two. One, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I've only got six. Okay, that works out. It does. All right. Um, all right. Start over here on the wing. What would you like to do? Evade. Right. So this will be three dice looking for green circles. Not a sausage. We're going to have four dice against Zabatis. Nothing he can do, but take it! And hopefully I'll get some squares and not triangle, and not swords. Well, take let's see. Face. Yes, you get to ignore one sword, so one. multiple swords would be awesome. Here we go, four dice. One hit. Uh, here's a check. He's fine. I think I'll take the retreat. All right. And use that. So four dice once again, looking for green circles. Nothing. Okay. Dice just completely and totally hate me, so let's roll with it. Uh, nothing they can do about this one, so four dice on this one. And one hit. Four dice back. Retreat. Let's do this. Was, what would he like to do? 
Stand. Stand. Okay, here's... Are you doing that on purpose? Three dice. Three dice. Three dice. Two hits. Oh, what a mistake! Mm -hmm. All right. You're mocking back. me, aren't you? <laughs> uh, fine. No, I lost two blocks. I know. All right. Here. Here I thought I was going to be all cool. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, we can roll green circles. I'll survive this. I'll roll a bunch of flags and swords or something. No. Poo. Two blocks gone. Sad. All right. Two on the right. Why are you like this? I know, this is foolish. Mm -hmm. Go after that medium calf. What they like to do. Oh, they will evade. Because I must. Four dice. Go after that light calf. Uh, sadly, they must evade through the swamp. Four dice. All right, so into there, I will roll a single die, see what happens. He's fine. And it goes again. How about a mounted charge? What? No fair. Indeed. It is fair. Life isn't fair. Well, I'm pinned against the back of my... Anyone of tells mat. you otherwise is selling you something. Right. Boom. 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 And this is bad. Boom. This is very we, bad. What can we do here? Let's see, I'll start down here. I'm going to do four dice on this one. Retreat. Advance. Move one. Battle again. Four dice. A hit and two retreats. How far do they retreat? Two each. Excellent. All right. Over here. What would they like to do? Three dice looking for one. One green circle. Ah. Ah. Fine. Yeah, but now it's about to get gross. Yeah. I hope so. Here we go. Three dice against your exposed flank. Run away! Advance. Battle again. Three dice against Zabatis. Oh, the, the egg to me. Uh, no. Nothing. Four dice back. Get rid of the leader if we can. So, four dice on him. Nothing. Four dice back. Okay, so hit and two retreats. Hit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And finally, come on. Let's see what we can do here. Um. Alright, we're going to go against them. Four dice. Just a hit. Mm. 
Okay. We'll attack back of two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Don't throw me into that briar patch. Wow. How can I not? Counter attack. <laughs> I've always hated you. So, let's see. So I'm going to get five. You only get right? five. One, two, three, four, five. What a quinky dink. I only have five left after your massacre. So, heavies get to move three. So, one, two, three. Let's see here. How are we going to do this? Move down. Okay. Let's start the action over here with our one remaining light cavalry. Attacking that light cavalry, what would they like to do? They will evade. Three dice, looking for a green circle or two. Didn't get any. Okay, here's the gam. Mm. All right. Went to that medium cavalry with five dice. They will evade. Hmm. What a whiff. Okay, into the swamp. Here's a die. They're okay. There. The Mattis will attack that light cavalry. Uh, evade. Okay, five dice. One hit. Into the swamp. Let's see what happens. He's fine. Mm. I'm not feeling it. I've been too reactionary. And now my forces are scattered. Mm -hmm. To the double time. Double time. All right. Do this first. What they like to do. I will try to evade. Okay. So five dice looking for squares only. Oh, how it breaks the heart. And the hoof. Mm -hmm. All right. This one will do same target. No evading on this one, however. So, three dice plus leader. One hit. Four dice back. Hit, and two retreats. Hit. Two retreats. Have no good cards. When in doubt, gamble. I am Spartacus. No. You're Zapatus. Ah, uh, never gets old. Ooh. Yes, two of your choice. But only two. two. Of my choice. Only two. Well, one will have to be Zabatis himself. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. All right. Zabatis. Clan to that medium cavalry. They will evade. Five dice. Looking for a triangle. Oh, you know you're going to get one. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's always right. one. 
here's the risky one. Here's the crazy one. Yeah. What am I doing over here? You want to get nuts? nuts? Let's get nuts. Five dice on those heavies. Here we go. Oh, what a whiff. Indeed. Here's five dice back with leader. Barely. I do better with that. <sighs> Things aren't looking too good for Zabatis. Do two in the center. Read I not against the medium. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get in the face. <laughs> Three dice plus leader. One hit. One hit only. Here's a leader check. Nothing. Now I'll evade. Well, first you gotta you get to fight back. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Four dice. Move leader. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This one now, I presume, yes. You will evade. Uh, so this will be five dice looking for one square. One square. Five dice. It's a heavy, heavy cavalry. I mean, heavy. Oh, yeah. Aren't you? So five dice looking for one red square. <laughs> no. Oh boy. <laughs> Foot units. That's adorable. Well, I got left. You've killed all my... No, not really. But all my good horses. Well, you've already... All right. You've already taken the knight. Let fly. Loose. They'll stand. What's the range on the spear? Uh, the auxilia? Two. Severe lack of Palmarinian leadership over here. Do a on the white helmets. Coordinated attack. Slingers, approach. Two dice. Hit. How? Snake, two dice, miss, and finally two dice. Hit! Hurrah! Pink! Holy. Unholst! One die! Hey, he's fine. The cataphract are no mole! Two dice. Two dice on those slingers. Ow. There we go. One die on that auxilia. He'll stand. Or that. Two dice on those heavies. And 
I don't think this guy has range, does he? Uh, no, he does not have range. And I should have moved him. Oh, well. Shall do a line command. Take one step forward. Attack with three dice plus leader bonus. Uh, just one. One? Just one. And he will throw a single die at that same target. One die. Hit! Three. Risky. All right. Come on, Zabatis. Spy your men to attack. Three dice. And that auxilia. Well done. Hmm. Three back with leader. Two hits and a retreat. Oh, actually, you can ignore that retreat, but you can take it and go back and join Zabanus. Two arrows. Two more arrows. Three on the right. Continue the Zamboni of Death. All right, three dice plus leader. Barely. And one die for Zabatis. He's fine. And these guys will attack here. They're going to I'll stand. They're going to stand. All right. Three dice plus leader. Two hits and a retreat. Which they can ignore because Zabatis is supporting. Two back then. Hey. Take the hit and take the retreat. And that is all. Three on the left. Two dice. And two more dice. Outflanked. Outflanked. Oh no. All right. Let's go here to there. What would they like to do? Fade. Fade. So we'll have five dice. Look at her green circles. No green circles. And over here, against your calf, two dice looking for a green circle. Just one will do. Nope. And then up here, slinging away in Margaritaville, two dice. Even a flag will do. There you go. Hurrah! Huzzah! This is rough for the Paul Marine. <laughs> I, 
This one actually said, it, when I looked at Commands of Colors, it said it was about 56-44, so it's not too bad. Mm. Um, so final score in this one, Peter took it 6-1 in the first. I take it 6-2 in this one, so Peter wins the series by a grand total of one block. One, I'll take it. Yes, one block. One block. <laughs> pulling away. So this one does seem rough, but I think it's just... Uh, I don't know what the magic formula is for this one because we both tried it. I did it a little more conservatively as the Palmarines and and you went right into it. Um, I think it behooves <laughs> horse hooves. It behooves the the Romans to drag it out a little bit because you, as I think you mentioned it in there, it's like, oh, I'm scattered to the winds. And it, there was this really wonderful back and forth where I pushed you all the way to the edge of the map and then you came all the way back and, you know, with, with your two or three uh, full retreats that you caused on my mediums that just got them all the way back across the field. Uh, so there was a neat back and forth on this, literally. Agreed. Would you like to add anything else? Are, nope. we, just, are we just putting this one in the book? <laughs> I think so. Okay. <laughs> it must be almost sleepy time. Well, then we will just cut through all of that. Uh, go out and try this one. This was 422 MA was the uh, the name of the final scenario. Thank you very much for doing all the research tonight. That was great. And for those of you who are not familiar with Zenobia, uh, the 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 warrior queen of the Palmarines. She also lends her name now to the Zenobia Award, which a panel of judges have created this past year to honor uh, underrepresented folks in the war game design. There were some great entries this year. I saw many of them, and one was selected. So go look up the Zenobia Award. It is uh, You can Google it right there, and uh, some really neat contributions. So I, I'm looking forward to all of the games that are pitched each year. But, with that being said, we draw close once again. Put your hands together for another evening of Commands and Colors Ancients. Thank you, Peter, for a great series tonight. And uh, I, I will get that block back somewhere in this life or the next. But uh, take a moment to those of you watching. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you see this out there on social media and you could perhaps retweet it or tell your friends about it, whatever, we really appreciate that because that's another form of support. And I'm showing you our current contributions from all of our financial supporters. Thank you very much to all of you as well. Next week, we advance on into the 4th century as our last two scenarios for this module, 423 and 424, will take us about into the 321 AD. So I will be doing the research on that one. That means, Peter, you get the very last scenario of the box set. So that should be cool. Uh, anything else for the go to the order before we go? I think you covered it all. Fantastic. Well, thanks everybody once again for supporting us, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Peter, have a great one, man. Good night.